We just saw Dear White People, and on this show, I take my friends, we go see a movie. We review it in the car and have a discussion. The review part is spoiler-free, so if you're on the fence and trying to decide if this is a movie for you, watch the first part. And if you've already seen the movie or don't care about spoilers and just want to hear everything that we thought, watch the second part because we get into a discussion. Um, so what was this movie about and who is it for? Um, yeah, I still you don't take that. I still don't know. Um, what the movie is about, in as far as I can tell, is that it is sort of an exploration of um, race in our society, particularly in college. Um, it looks at uh, specifically the topic of these sort of uh, racist parties, I guess, that people are having that kids are throwing at schools um, and why that's wrong and how that happens and those sorts of things. Um, but it also has a lot of, I mean, it's an ensemble story. There's a lot of different storylines that you follow and there's people that are sort of, you know, in the gray area of, of things where they're, um, they're, they're black, but they want to be with the white people or vice versa or, they're conflicted about something or they just want to fit in and they kind of go against what they think is right. That kind of stuff. Um, I honestly, I, I expected the movie to be either a lot funnier or a lot more, um, sort of, uh, not awkward necessarily, but more sort of charged, um, than it was did its job just fine. It did a really good job of establishing the characters before it got into, um, sort of the meat of, you know, the party and what that means and, um, how that affected everybody. Um, but it, it's still, it's something that it may take me a week before I can really figure out like who should go see it. Um, I wasn't unhappy with it. I wasn't like, I wasn't sad that I went and saw it. I didn't feel awkward about seeing it. Um, it's just not something that, like, I'm not, I don't feel compelled to go have a conversation with someone about it. Which is probably the worst thing I can say for something that, like, that's what I expected out of this movie, is that mm -hmm. it would give me something to have a conversation with people about like these people that I'm sitting next to in my car mm -hmm. well, and I don't know what to talk to them about because there's no point of conflict I feel like like for the most hopefully for most people it's like yes that's a bad idea mm -hmm. I think we can all agree that's a bad idea like yeah. there wasn't I think you'll be hard pressed to find somebody that says yeah no dressing up in back blackface that seems like a great idea let's do that right there that isn't yeah, I, you know, and as you were talking, I think the thing that I that would have been interesting is if they had explored some of the history a little bit more. Like the is it the president of the college and the dean? So that the president is a is a white man and the dean is a, a black man, and then their sons are both in college now, and so there's co like two generations of conflict. And I think it would have been interesting if they had kind of contrasted what had changed in those like 25 years since they were dealing with race. I don't know. I mean, there were so many, so many small things going on. Yeah. It's, it's hard to say like what it's, it's hard to say if we could have added this to it. Right. I think really it needed to be more streamlined mm -hmm. overall, honestly, but mm -hmm. that's just my, what'd you think? Um, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Uh, I thought that... So, anyway. No, yeah, there wasn't really any... <laughs> there wasn't really any, like, real protagonist or antagonist in the movie. Like, everybody right. had a good and a bad side, mm -hmm. so it was kind of hard to know who to cheer for, I guess, except for maybe the main character, um, who was not the radio right, I was host. Like, it was, yeah, yeah no, 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 the, yeah. the Lionel, he, I think, emerged as the main character. Um, but everyone else had, like, inner struggles and inner turmoil um and so it just yeah it was just kind of it was great storytelling i feel like the mm -hmm. the the stories were there i could have gone deeper with the stories and lot and and gone with one ah, i was gonna say one main plot but we kind of did and it just kind of left everything which is why flat. like i was saying before we started rolling like it felt to me like a college episode of veronica mars and what i mean by that is 
it felt like we were developing a bunch of characters in a very small way over a very limited amount of time with a topic, but we could go in any different direction after that. Like we could do another episode of this show mm -hmm. with these same characters mm -hmm. and they could be fighting about something else mm -hmm. or the, yeah. all the alliances could be different. We could have four different factions now that are doing different yeah. things. Like all of that stuff was seemed possible to me in watching it. Um, it just didn't, you know, there was, there was like a television's amount, television episode amount of arc in it. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I can yeah. see that. A lot of backstory. Mm -hmm. So anyway, that's our review. I have no <laughs> idea if that helps or not. Probably not. I'm guessing. Um, but if, if, if any of that sounded interesting to you, or if the trailer looked good to you, by all means, go see it. It's, it's not, not a waste of time or money, I would say. Um, to get into spoilers and get into more of a discussion, I mean, we 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 talked about the the party, which I think that's kind of the biggest part of the movie or the biggest like issue that the movie talks about. Um, there's a lot of other things that come up here and there. Um, I was actually really glad that Sam's character wasn't like a one note character that she wasn't mm -hmm. just the mm -hmm. same person from the whole, the whole mm -hmm. way through, like mm -hmm. for her to be the preachy, angry black girl for the entire movie would have been really obnoxious mm -hmm. yeah. and really yeah. hard to take. Um, even if they did like, you know, have her get knocked down a peg or have her, you know, realize mm -hmm. that she wasn't completely in the right about something. Um, and the same thing with the Coco character. I mean, I think if yeah. she had mm -hmm. been like, her egotistical, all about me self the whole time. I think that would have ruined it. Mm -hmm. Although I didn't really like her in speech because I don't think that's what her mm -hmm. final judgment was after that. I think she looked around and went, "Whoa, this is effed up." Well, it was also weird. Well, yeah, because she, what she said in the actual uh, at the actual time and what they showed in Sam's movie mm -hmm. were different. They I cut her off that. halfway through. Um, she's she said more about how like they want how, to be like us but but she talked about how messed up all of this is mm -hmm. and like how mm -hmm. and then when they showed it played it back in sam's movie it cut that line off and i was kind of like what that's the important part <laughs> like mm -hmm. that's the but i guess in in the context of the movie within the movie it was more important that the other like it, it, that needed to keep they needed to keep the focus on how wrong the party was mm -hmm. not how this particular person was dealing with it yeah, but yeah I agree that it that and I think everybody honestly everybody except for Lionel had an arc had a a starting point and ending mm -hmm. point and for him it was you know, it wasn't so much that he changed his mind. It was more that he spoke his mind. It was mm -hmm. more that he mm -hmm. sort of came alive a bit and stood up for what he thought was right instead of mm -hmm. looking to Sam to do that or looking to somebody else to mm -hmm. do that. But, yeah. Um, the other thing I thought it was kind of... Like, I am I was okay with this, but I was interest, it was interesting to me that the the like the apart from Sam's boyfriend who is also like a very very small character the white characters are really not developed mm -hmm. they're, yeah, they're that's really not true. there yeah um and they're not they're not stereo they're not made into stereotypes or archetypes or anything like that like there's the houses that have kind of a a feel to them mm -hmm. um and the was it Fletcher? The like, yeah, the president. The, like he's he got the most real screen time or presence mm -hmm. in the movie as far as all of that goes. Um, but they they did a really good job of like letting him off the hook with the fact that he didn't actually mm -hmm. throw the party. Mm -hmm. It was Sam that threw the party, yeah. and then you know they had just come up with the idea. And, right, right. Um, and also that I thought it was interesting that. Like, it was this weird collusion between, like, Coco trying to get the reality TV thing to happen mm -hmm. and Sam trying to prove that this party racism. would just happen yeah. and there was racism mm -hmm. on campus that led to 
people being like, all right, you know, let's just go do it. Let's go have a good time. And yeah, let's dress like rockers. <laughs> and, mm -hmm. Yeah. Peer pressure. It's an amazing thing. Yeah. Well, and what you do when you're at a private party versus, you know, yeah. like there's sort of a, but it's still about what's socially acceptable in the circle that you are in. Right. I just mean, like, if you do something outrageous at a Halloween party, your friends are probably going to be pretty forgiving about it. Like, yeah. you're doing something for a laugh. You're like, right. Like, that's why there's sexy everything Halloween oh. costumes. <laughs> that's not even like, <laughs> you know, like. Things that should never have that word in front of it. Well, I mean, like, to, to switch from racism <laughs> to, like, sexism or your body image or any of that kind of stuff, like... Sexy wi nurse. Women are really judgmental of each other most of the time. But Halloween, like, all bets are off. You can do whatever you want to do. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and they do. Um, <laughs> yeah. Just as an example. Um, so, yeah. I... I, yeah, I, yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like the the guy, and I don't know his name. I feel like he would probably he he's the got a lot of the director. Yeah, something. I don't remember his name. <laughs> Sorry, um, but I feel like he's gonna have a lot better things come out. Yeah. I feel like um, his his storytelling is there. This was just like I told them before we started. I feel like. This was his, he's got all these great ideas and he knew that they wouldn't get made because of, you know, the way Hollywood is and just the stereotypes and all that that they have to deal with. Um, and so he said, okay, well, I've got this idea. I'll, I'll throw this. And, and it got picked up and then he was like, okay, so he made the movie. But I feel like his storytelling and his character development and that kind of stuff is really where he's going to be good. Like, I think mm -hmm. that his future movies are going to be good and not you know all centered on race and more like real life and 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 that kind of stuff so yeah yeah i agree and i i, I think it was a well-made movie um mm -hmm. the production style reminded me a little bit of rushmore um mm -hmm. you know it kind of had that wes anderson vibe to it but you know not so much in the humor department um it looked like a wes anderson movie but it didn't mm -hmm. sound like a wes anderson mm -hmm. movie um but yeah, I I think, you know, if this is if this is a starting point for him and it goes better from here, like I, I'd be interested mm -hmm. in seeing what else, what else he makes. So, anyway, that is, dear white people, and we are three confused white people. Um, that, <laughs> if you like the way we do these reviews, please like and subscribe. Check out all the written and video reviews over at DaleMaxfield.com, and thanks for watching.